Okay, let's have a look at the portrait mode. So I'm in my camera app and I've got portrait mode. As you can see, I've got lots of different options around here. So at the minute, I've got natural light. So I can change this. I can go to studio light. I can go to contour light, stage light, which takes away all of the background, uh, mono, and then high key light. So I'm just gonna go back to natural light because I'm stood in my garden and natural light's great. And all I do is I either click the button there and there's my image. And let's have a look at that image right now. That's me wearing a hat in my garden. As you can see, using the portrait mode on the iPhone, for example, it's super easy. It does all the work for you. So what is it actually doing? So I have the iPhone 11. So if you have a camera that has two lenses, one lens is focusing on you. So it's making sure you've got great lighting and the other lens is working in the background and it's giving you that blurred background, which is separating you from the subject. So it's highlighting the foreground and it's blurring the background. This is fantastic if you're using a smartphone because this usually requires a high-end camera and a high-end lens, whereas your smartphone is doing it all for you. Okay, that's enough of me talking about um, portrait photography and it's enough of you having to look at me whilst I talk about portrait photography. What I'd like you to do, guys, is open your camera app, have a play, see what you can come up with, and you don't just have to take images 